Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Intrepid V2 frame from Airblade UAV. This is going to be the first part of a two parts video. On the first one I'm going to show you what is included in the kit, assemble the frame and go over its features and on the second part I'm going to feature it in a build video. The Intrepid V2 is available in four versions. I've got the 3 inch pro version so the mounting pattern for the motor on each arm is between 9 to 12 millimeters, which will enable you to use motors between 11 OX to 15 OX. The second version is the 3 inch light version, which is using 9 millimeters mounting pattern, so it will enable you only to use 11 OX motors, and also some 13 OX motors that are using 9 millimeters pattern, such as the Spintech 1304 motor, which I've recently reviewed. In addition, the carbon parts are a little bit thinner, and it weighs 7 grams less than the Pro version. The third version is the 4 inch version of the Pro, which is just using a little bit extended arms, so it will enable you to use 4 inch propellers. And the last version is the 2.5 inch version, which is a little bit different than this one and was recently released. Inside the kit we can find aluminum spacers and M3 screws, a high quality battery velcro strap, front and back arms, their thickness is about 2.8 millimeters. The bottom and top plates, their thickness is 1.8 millimeters. Two side plates with a thickness of 1.8 millimeters. Two extension plate that will enable you to mount an extra camera. So for example, if you don't like the latency of the HD cameras such as the Cadex Turtle and the Runcom Split Mini, you can just fly with a second camera and use the Cadex Turtle or Split Mini for just recording the HD footage. The thickness of these side plates is 1.8 millimeters as well. In addition, you're also getting these two 3D printed TPU parts for mounting the extra camera. Finally, this 3D printed TPU part is not included in the basic kit and it will enable you to mount an Axie antenna on the back of the quadcopter. So if you need one, you can buy it separately. The total weights of the carbon parts, not including the extension plates, is 32.4 grams. So this is a pretty light 3 inch frame. If we compare it to the carbon parts of the Omagad oh Acrobrat, can see that these parts weighs 43.3 grams, so the Intrepid V2 is much lighter. Here you can see how the frame looks like when it is assembled. The hardest part to assemble is the front part, so what I recommend to do is to first attach the two plates together using the spacers, put them in their position on the bottom plate, and then squeeze in the top plate. After that, just mount the top plate using the two screws on top and add the spacer over here. On the bottom plate of the Intrepid we can find two 20 by 20 mounting holes. The front one is intended to be used with an HD FUV camera and if you're going to use the Codex Turtle or the Runcom Split Mini 2 you can also mount on top the VTX because you're going to have enough space over here. On the back mounting holes you can mount an all-in-one stack and on my build video I'm going to use the HLRC F420 which is a little bit oversized but still it is going to fit with no problems. Now if you're going to use the included spacers like I did, the distance between the bottom plate and the top one is about 19 millimeters. However, you're also given the option to create a slimmer profile. So what you're going to need to do is to obtain shorter spacers. And then over here you can find two more holes and by using them you can lower down the top plate. In addition on the front you'll be able to mount an action camera such as the Runcom 3 or the GoPro Session 5 and over here you can find two slots for securing it using a velcro strap. Finally the total weight of the frame including the spacers and screws is 44.4 grams and just as a reference the weight of my Acrobrat which is missing a VTX and a radio receiver is 180.4 grams and my target weight for the Intrepid is 170 grams and I really hope I will be able to make it. So this is the end of part 1, part 2 is going to be posted in the next few days, so stay tuned. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about this frame, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.